Hello everyone and welcome to Fletcher Farms Amarillo. I'm Julie Fletcher. I wanted to start this video off and say thank you all so much to everybody that reached out to us to find out if we were affected by the wildfires here in Amarillo. We were not. All the wildfires did stay north of us. However, at one point the winds did change directions and we did have a little bit of a scare uh, thinking that they were going to start coming this direction. Um, however, they did stay north of us. So we were very grateful for that. I did catch a couple pictures of the smoke changing directions and starting to head our way. We did keep the horses in the paddock area this night just because we were a little worried about what was going to happen. And then the following day, we got snow. The weather in Amarillo has been quite unpredictable. Um, but this video is about our three new rescued Belgian draft horses. If you didn't see, we rescued um, three more Belgian draft horses with your support. Uh, without your support, this definitely wouldn't have been possible. So I do want to say thank you to everybody that supported us in this fundraiser in rescuing these three horses. We did rescue uh, two mares and a gelding. So uh, this is an update on how they're doing since they've arrived here at the farm along with their vet appointments and everything else that's been going on because we've had visitors and all kinds of things happening around here. So this is what's been happening here around the farm. I wasn't able to get video of her getting loaded. I was in the office chatting and they had her loaded by the time I got out there. However, lot number 2020, I was able to get a little bit more video of hers. These are the two mares that we rescued and this is us getting them loaded up into the trailer. Buddy. Oh, that's a good boy. And this is the third horse we rescued. This is the gelding. Yeah, let's get a smaller halter on him. Usually on our ride home from the livestock yard, we decide what to name the horses. Lot 1896, we decided to name her Maisie. All the horses in the barn were super cute and came up to the fence and wanted to meet the new girl. I love bringing new horses home just for this reason. This is the gelding coming off the trailer. He was lot 1973 and we decided to name him Will. Mm -hmm. And lot 2020, the other mare, we decided to name her Grace. All three of these horses were super sweet and super gentle. We were so excited to get them home, back to the farm where they could start their life of retirement. Oh, such a good dog, sweetheart. Yeah, that's a good girl. <laughs> yeah. Will and Grace were okay with us taking video of them. However, Maisie was not a fan of the camera and would walk away every time we would try to film her eating. So we wanted her to eat and that's why there wasn't a video of us feeding her as well. From the start, we knew that Will had a problem with his back left leg. As you can see here in this video, the next day he was standing holding his leg off the ground. When I watched him walk, he walked very much like Anna did, and Anna has problems with her stifle joint. We needed to get him to the vet to get it checked. Was that a good muffin? Yeah. Do you want a second muffin? You want another one?
Here, do you want another muffin? It's right here. Hey, baby. Come here, sweetheart. Taryn, our new intern, was the first one to get Maisie to take a treat from our hand. Maisie's a little bit more standoffish and is a little bit unsure about people, but Will and Grace definitely <laughs> love people. And Kara, our board secretary, came over to meet the new kids. This is Kara grooming Will. He definitely needed to be groomed because he was full of mud. Will and Grace were looking beautiful after they both got brushed and groomed. They were standing in the sun and enjoying the warm weather. Elias was one of the first horses to come over to meet Grace, and they seemed to like each other from what I could tell. Quinn also came over to say hello to Grace. Not entirely sure if Grace really liked Quinn. Can you please get off of the gate? Yeah, get down. For a horse that's blind in one eye and possibly has a back injury, it's definitely not going to stop her. When she wants dinner, she climbs up on the gates and definitely lets you know that it's time for her food. She only does this at dinner time when we're about to feed her. For one of our smaller horses, she definitely liked to make friends with the big horses. This is Grace and Hank together right here. Don't let her size fool you. I have watched her double back kick at the other horses through the fence. This little girl definitely has spunk. Much to our surprise, Grace and Will were in much better condition than we thought they were going to be in. Grace moved around pretty well, although we were concerned about her back and we needed to get them to the vet as soon as possible. The next day after getting everybody home, Maisie came up with a snotty nose and it was very disgusting so we needed to get her to the vet as soon as possible. She also had a cough which you can see here in this video. Freya, one of our other mares, wasn't acting quite right and wasn't eating her food, so we decided to take Freya and Maisie to the vet first and made an appointment for a couple days later for Will and Grace. This was a cute picture I caught of Taryn and Maisie while we were waiting for Dr. Wagner. This is Dr. Wagner from Mobile Veterinary Practice. She's checking Maisie's heart and lungs and stomach sounds. Everything was normal with all of that, and she also did blood work and took her temperature and everything seemed normal with Maisie. Dr. Wagner did blood work on Freya and Freya's liver enzymes were a little bit elevated. We did do an ultrasound to make sure that her liver was functioning and everything was okay. Freya will be on medications for a little while, but she's doing well. Maisie, on the other hand, Dr. Wagner was worried about the discharge coming from her nose. So they did a procedure where they put a scope up into her her nose into her guttural pouch and they injected antibiotics directly into her guttural pouch. Sometimes horses can hold bacteria in these and coming from the livestock yard Dr. Wagner was concerned that that was the case and that she had something going on in her guttural pouches. So this was the procedure where they put the scope in her nose and then they injected the antibiotics directly into that pouch. And they did this procedure in both nostrils because horses have guttural pouches on both sides. While we were there and Maisie was sedated, we also had Dr. Wagner take a look at her teeth. There's just a little age-related change as far as them wearing out. Okay. And they're a little bit sharp because who knows if she's ever had this done before. Probably not. So we can float them, but overall, good quality of teeth. So okay. like she shouldn't have any trouble eating or anything. Okay. So the quality of this. Throughout a horse's life, their teeth continue to grow and get sharp points. Their molars in the back need to have their teeth floated, usually once a year, to remove those sharp points to help them eat and make things more comfortable. This is Dr. Wagner removing those sharp points from Maisie's teeth. Maisie's incisors need a little work too, so this was Dr. Wagner fixing up her front teeth. 
It was a rough day for both girls, but they're doing well now. And a few days later, after the wonderful snowstorm, we did get Will and Grace down to the vet's office. We started off the appointment by getting a weight for both horses. There we go. Good girl. 11.90. Grace was a champ when it came to the scale. However, Will was not so excited about finding out how much he weighed. So it was a little bit of a challenge to try to get his weight. Good job. Come on. Apparently the scale was very scary for Will, so we only got to weigh half of him, and that half weighed 885. Dr. Wagner started off this appointment as well, listening to their heart, lungs, doing blood work, taking their temperature, and listening to their gut sounds. Everything sounded good with both horses. Our main concern with Will was his back left leg, so Dr. Wagner is watching him walk in this video right here. The audio in this video was not very good, but Dr. Wagner was concerned that he did have a lot of muscle loss in that left side, and that she was concerned that he did have a problem with his stifle joint because one was a lot more swollen than the other. So I'm a little concerned about her. I can tell from the way that she just stood that she wants to lean to the left. <laughs> In this portion of the audio, you couldn't hear what Dr. Wagner was saying because of the wind, but she's telling us here in this portion of the video that she sways to her left, but her feet stay to her right. Could that be because of her back? So I think she might have some sort of a neurologic component to this. Okay. She like walks a little bit like this. Mm -hmm. Back in and she stands really funny too, so I'm surprised she can get up on your see look right to the left, right? Especially as she goes to an AK movement. Um, anyways, I'm surprised she can get up on your gate and stuff. That's good that she right, has that right, much coordination and stuff. I don't know what I could tell you about which came first, you know, the chicken or the egg. So some horses with neurologic condition will have severe muscle wasting. Mm -hmm. And so this confirmation of her back could be secondary to the muscle wasting. Okay. But it could also be that she has a primary, like, injury. Okay. Um, that is affecting her back and her spinal cord. Okay. Um, causing the, you know, the injury caused the neurologic signs. Right. Versus a neurologic condition causing them. Right. The audio was horrible in this portion of the video and you couldn't hear Dr. Wagner, but she's pointing out in this portion of the video that she falls to her left side and doesn't really coordinate the movement. Dr. Wagner was a little concerned that this could be as well EPM, so we did do blood work to have her tested for EPM. By the way Will was walking, Dr. Wagner was concerned that he was having a problem with his stifle joint, so we started with an x-ray of his stifle joint. We're looking for like smoothness of all this. We get to the back of this joint. This is irregular and rough. You can really just see how rough that is in this view and that fragment again. We get to this front to back view. This is very, very abnormal. Horses to be able to come like just like this and their femoral end right there. So he's got this whole column osteophytes. So is that part of arthritis? It is really, really advanced arthritis, probably from an injury. Okay. As with the other horses that we have that have severe arthritis, we went ahead and got him a Noltrex injection, and that's what Dr. Wagner is doing here. Noltrex gives a little bit of cushion along with a steroid injection to provide him comfort in that area where he has severe arthritis in that joint.
and since they were both there and sedated, we got their teeth floated while they were there as well. Overall, Will's teeth were in good condition. They just filed off a couple of the sharp points that he had, and he was good to go. And because of his severe arthritis, we chose to do an OSFOS injection, which has helped a lot of our other horses with severe arthritis. And he also got dewormed. So Will had a rough day at the vet's office and he was being very dramatic after the dewormer. Overall, their blood work was normal. We went ahead and got Grace's teeth floated. She was not happy about the process, but we needed to get it taken care of. Overall, Grace's teeth were in good condition. She had good grinding abilities, so that means she could chew her food. However, she did have some sharp points that Dr. Wagner went ahead and removed for her to make it more comfortable for her to eat. exciting in there. Her pupil is really closed and constricted and her iris is kind of scarring. Okay. Um, so like the iris is the colored part of her eye. Right. So I can't really see past the pupil because it's too small. Okay. I'm going to look at the other eye for comparison. The other eye also has some scarring in it. Okay. It's so visual because you can tell because like um, she blinked when I shined that bright light in there. Okay. But it has some scarring too. So um, sometimes horses will actually get what's called recurrent uveitis. It's just it's like an autoimmune thing that attacks their eyeball. Really? We don't really know why it happens. Huh? It's not. A, I don't like drafts are not a common breed for that. Um, but um, it's possible. So gotcha. if you ever see this eye like tearing or her holding it shut, then we need to treat it with some medicine right away. Okay. And just be careful with her because this eye I think is not, it's visual, but not very good. Not very either. good. Okay. So gotcha. Um, like she'll respond to menace and like the light in that eye. Mm -hmm. But her pupil doesn't change size like it's supposed to. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. So overall, their vet appointment went well. Grace does not have vision in her right eye, and there is a possibility that she will go blind in her left um, from the video that you just saw from Dr. Wagner. We also did have Grace tested for EPM, and she did test positive for EPM. We were waiting on those results, and those results just came back in the other day. EPM is a neurological disease that horses can get from eating infected opossum feces, which affects the brain and spinal cord, causing symptoms such as pelvic sway, asymmetric stride length, toe dragging, floating of their forelimbs, and muscle atrophy. And you could see all of those signs while Grace walked in her video from Dr. Wagner's evaluation at her vet appointment. While EPM is considered rare, it is a serious disease that some horses may not survive even with treatment. We are going to start the medicine for EPM for Grace as soon as possible. Yes. Well, I know you're a sweetheart. Except you're still a little questionable sometimes when it comes to the camera or people. I know we're still a little shy. Yes, we are. Yeah, but you're a beautiful girl. And this is Will. Hey, buddy. 
and he's doing much better since he had his Osphos injection and he also had the Noltrex, Noltrex injection. Yeah, is that funny? Are you smiling? Yeah. And his Noltrex injection into his joint. He's been doing much better. He doesn't seem to be standing on three legs like he was when we first got him. He's doing much better and uh, walking around and he was actually running. I couldn't get a video of it the other day. He was running up and down his run. So that's a really good sign. I'm really hoping that he's going to stay friends with Grace because she's going to need a um, horse that's going to stick with her and be a kind of a seeing eye horse because if she does go blind in that other eye she's going to need someone to um, help her around so we're really hoping that Will sticks with her and that they become friends and since they are special needs horses we really don't want to introduce them too quickly to the herd because we don't want anyone to get hurt but they are doing well. The discharge stopped in Maisie's nose and her cough got better, so we did get her turned out sooner rather than later. She did not like to be in a run. She wanted to be in the open spaces with the other horses, so we got her turned out sooner. That's Freya coming up behind her. Maisie is making friends with everyone in the herd, but her favorite, I think, seems to be Dutch. That's Dutch on the right and Maisie's on the left. That's Maisie. She's fitting in with the herd. This is Quinn. Dutch is right there. This is Elias and Freya. So they're all working things out and working their place in the herd. Sometimes she's friendly with them and sometimes she's not. <laughs> Be nice to her, Dutch. During the day when the other horses go out to the pasture area, we do let Will and Grace walk around in the paddock so they can get some exercise. Dr. Wagner said that the more exercise that both of them can get, the better their conditions will be. So they do get to walk around in the paddock area, and we haven't introduced them yet completely to the other horses. They have had contact with the other horses just through the fence, but they haven't been able to physically be around each other. We don't want these two getting into any fights just because of the tender condition that they're in. But all in all, these horses are doing well considering their age and the condition that they are in. They're getting around well and they're here for retirement. And we're so glad that we were able to give them this opportunity to live out a happy retirement filled with love and kindness. So because of all the medical treatment that we did for all these horses and the treatment that Grace is going to need to treat her EPM to give her um, the best quality of life. We are going to be doing a fundraiser for all the medical. The treatment for a one month supply of the EPM medication is $1,700. And um, with all the other medical bills, um, I believe we're over $5,000 just in medical bills and that's not with the $1,700 for the EPM treatment. So basically what's gonna happen with the EPM treatment is the first round we'll do for the 30 days and see how she responds to it. Um, depending on how she responds and how long she's had this, which we don't know, it might take a second round of treatment. So we're going to do a fundraiser to include just the 30 days for right now. And after that, if we need to do another fundraiser for the additional 30 days, um, we'll, we'll add that in later on down the road. Um, but again, if you guys can support us in any way to try to help pay for some of these medical bills for these three beautiful horses that we were able to save, we would truly appreciate your support. Um, we, like I said at the beginning of this video, we couldn't have done this without you and all your support is greatly, greatly appreciated. So, um, Thank you also to everybody that has sent us gifts from our Amazon wish list. Last week we did receive um, a bunch of gifts without receipts, um, so I'm not sure who they were from. So if you guys did send us something and didn't get a thank you from me, just know that we truly appreciate your support and can't thank you enough for all of your generosity. Um, I did add some new things to our Amazon wish list, so if you wanted to support us that way, uh, those items are now on our Amazon wish list. So. Again, thank you to everybody that did support this fundraiser and supported helping uh, get these horses to the farm. We really can't thank you enough. Um, 
again, stay tuned. We'll have more updates and we'll keep you posted on how everyone is doing. Thank you again for watching. We truly appreciate your support. Bye.